Hello and welcome back to Chips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. One of the most frequent requests that I get from both clients and from viewers is help for comparing the differences between two lists in Excel. In today's lesson, I'm going to demonstrate how we can use conditional formatting to highlight with special formatting those cells where we have a difference between the two lists. So I have list number one, list number two, and I'm going to use conditional formatting with a new formatting rule that uses a formula. So it will only uh, supply the conditional formatting, the special formatting, when the answer to our formula is true. The formula that we're going to use is the COUNTIF function. COUNTIF requires two arguments, a range. Now before I go any further, we're going to be applying conditional formatting to the customers in our first list. But we're going to be looking, using count if for the customers in the second list. And make sure that that's an absolute cell reference, as you can see with the dollar signs around the rows and the columns. The criteria it was going to be a relative cell reference for the first customer in the list that we're applying conditional formatting to. All right, let's put this into practice. So I'll click Escape, and then I'll move this picture out of the way. So we first select the cells that we want to apply conditional formatting to, which is list number one. Conditional formatting in Excel 2007-2010 is found on the Home tab of the ribbon in the Styles group. What we want to select is a new rule, and the rule is going to use a formula to determine which cells to format when the answer is true. So we're going to use equals count if left parentheses. Now remember we're formatting conditionally list number one, but we search in the range which is the list of customers in list number two. We want to make sure that that cell range is absolute with the dollar signs around the rows and the columns. Now for our criteria we want a relative cell reference to the first cell in our first list. So here you see Excel supplied an absolute reference. We want to change that. F4 cycles through and now we have a relative reference. Finish off our formula with equals zero and now when the answer to this formula is true what formatting do we want to apply? So let's select the format for the fill of the cells. Let's use this blue color click OK click OK. So we applied conditional formatting to our first list and the cells that have that blue shading in them are cells or customers who appear in list number one but not over here in list number two. So if all at once I were to put over here Alice's Restaurant Supply in list number two now I no longer have an answer of true, so let's use Control Z to return that. All right, now let's come over here and apply conditional formatting to our second list. We're going to repeat the process. Conditional formatting where we're using a new rule, a new rule that uses a formula to determine which cells to format. We're going to use the count if function equals count if left parentheses. And again, remember we're conditionally formatting list two but the range that we're going to look at will be the cells in list number one. So I select the customers in list number one, making sure that that's an absolute cell reference, and then a relative cell reference to the first customer in the list that I'm applying conditional formatting to. Use F4 if necessary to remove the dollar signs and then finish it off with equals zero. Now, when the answer to this formula is true, the formatting that we want to apply, and we're going to use fill, let's use the red color over here. Click OK, click OK. So beneficial financial appears in list number two, does not appear over here in list number one. Best Betty's Bakery appears in list number one, but the answer to the formula is that it is true, so she does not appear over here in list number two. That's why we have a conditional formatting applied to that cell. Now, in an earlier lesson, I used another way to spot the differences. Instead of using conditional formatting, I used the match function 
or you, we can also use the VLOOKUP. So over here, what I wanted to do was compare customers who had sales for the first week in January. So these customers had sales for the first week. Over here is the second list, and this is a list of customers who had sales in the second list. I want to spot which customers are new. In other words, they did not have sales in the first week, but they did in the second week. So the first way we can do that is using the match function. So in this case, the lookup value was the first customer over here in the second week. We looked for a value in a range, which was the list of customers in week number one. Again, make sure that you use the dollar signs to make that an absolute reference or create a name for it. And then uh, there's a third argument over here, which is optional. When we wanted to have an exact match for the match function, we use zero to give us that exact match. Now, the cells where we have the formula errors, that's exactly what we wanted. So accurate beta and microfinance do not appear as customers in week number one. Now we could also use the VLOOKUP. So it's your choice whether you use MATCH or VLOOKUP. So over here, the VLOOKUP, we're looking for the first customer over here in week number two. Once again, we're looking in a range and we want to make an absolute cell reference to the customers in week number one. In this case, what do we want to return? Well, we just need the customer number. That's what we're going to return. And then we have an optional fourth argument. So to have an exact match with the VLOOKUP, you use false. To have an exact match, uh, exact match with the match function, the match type is zero. So match or VLOOKUP, and in either case, what we're looking for is we're looking for those formulas with the errors. Now we can apply conditional formatting as well. In this case, just to make it a little bit easier, let's come through here and make sure that we have a name range. So instead of the dollar signs, we can make sure we have an absolute reference. This I've already called week one, and this I've called week two. All right, so let's apply conditional formatting over here. Conditional formatting home tab of the ribbon over here in the styles group, new rule. And what we want to do is again, formula to determine. It'll be the count if function. And what I want to do is I want to select the values over here in the second week. Well, I can use my F3 keyboard shortcut and say I want to look in the range, which is week two. That's an absolute reference. And then I want to have the criteria be the first cell over here relative in my first list. So I want to change that to relative, write parentheses equals zero. When the answer is true, let's apply, let's say, uh, green, click OK, and click OK. So here are the customers that are in week number one, but not in week number two. Now, of course, I'd reverse that over here for this uh, list. And then anytime I need to remove the formatting, the conditional formatting, it's really simple. Just select one of the ranges that has conditional formatting, return over here to conditional formatting, and down here we can clear the rules, either the rule for the selected cells or for the entire sheet. So there you've learned how to use conditional formatting to spot the differences between two lists. You can also use the match function or the VLOOKUP function. It's your choice, whatever you're most comfortable with. And this is typical of the tips that I offer in my DVD series, the 50 best tips for Excel 2007. And I'll see you in the next lesson.